Have you ever woken up to your real-time YouTube analytics and seen this? A huge spike in your real-time views. Let me show you what I'm seeing right now. It wasn't in my latest few videos. It is in this one. Music with permission is not enough. Now, did you know that you can simply sort by this estimated views in the last 48 hours column to show you exactly which videos are generating views right now on your channel? It turns out there's only two videos that are causing this massive spike in views on Freedom Central and they're both about music with permission, not enough, and YPP suspended music channels discussing why music channels are getting suspended on YouTube lately. My guess is these made it on a popular music website or a popular YouTuber shouted them out talking about uh, that YouTube no longer allows you to monetize music promotional channels that use visualizers to create uh, you know, bars that move to the beat of the music. Why is this not allowed anymore? Well, <laughs> click that eye to see the music with permission is not enough video, KYC number 14, and click that eye to see the YPP suspended music channels, KYC number 13, which I will summarize here. YouTube is saying they do not allow music channels to monetize in this way because you typically don't have permission as someone uploading SoundCloud music or other uh, artists music you typically do it because everyone else is doing it now let's say you do have permission still YouTube will YPP suspend those channels because most of the channels don't have permission and the few that do they want a different solution the solution is put those channels in a managed CMS because when a channel is in a managed CMS, then the MCN is completely responsible for that channel and all the content on it. It's called an owned and operated CMS, but it doesn't really mean the MCN owns the channel, but it does mean that the MCN operates the channel or at least uh, is responsible for everything on that channel tantamount to operating it themselves. Think of it like having staff running a channel that's the purpose of a managed cms so youtube trusts that everything in a managed cms has all the rights cleared and that's why no channels that are music get ybp suspended in a managed cms but they do in affiliate cms's now guys we really did push youtube to ask them why they made this decision to why people suspend all the affiliate cms music channels and the best that we can understand, because you know YouTube is kind of vague about these things, they don't actually tell you exactly the reason, they kind of point to general reasons. And the most specific answer I can give you is that YouTube feels uh, there are too many abuses of music promo channels. And this isn't just for music, it's also compilation channels. Let's say you're putting a Vine compilation, you know, best Vines of 2018. Those are also getting YPP suspended. Or if you're doing like those uh, soccer channels where American football, uh, where you're showing highlights from television of amazing goals or amazing plays or focused on amazing uh, stars in sports like, um, like Lionel Messi or Neymar Jr. Those channels are all getting YPP suspended as well for the same reason that you are indiscriminately monetizing other people's content. And even if you're doing it with permission, then you need to seek out a managed CMS, an owned and operated CMS to put your channel into to avoid suspension. Note, the copyright owner can still monetize the videos on YPP suspended channels. So if you happen to be like a record label or the owner of these vines, you can still claim the videos on these YPP suspended channels and you, the real rights holder, does make money even though the channel owner does not if he's been YPP suspended. So as we've been talking, uh, these views have steadily been increasing <laughs> uh, to these two videos. This is like music to my ears, guys. I've never seen this happen. Look, our channel is now 
at 6,000 views in the last 48 hours. And look at the spike. I mean, come on, this never happens here. Has this happened to you? Tell me down there in the comments below. Better yet, send us links to your videos that suddenly got lots of views and tell us how it happened so we can all help each other grow together as a family because that is the spirit of freedom. There are three things that make compilation videos okay in my opinion. One, that you show short clips and don't play the entire work. Most music promotional channels, what they do is they play the entire song. So eh, that's bad right there. Play a clip. Two, add your commentary. Talk about it. Give a review. Say what you like, what you don't like about it. Be critical. That is a fair use argument. And three, have permission from the rights holders to use those clips. Now technically, technically you don't need permission if you are using fair use as the reason for putting copyright works into your video and, and news uh, agencies do this all the time. They would show a picture of a celebrity, talk about that celebrity. Did they get permission to use that picture? Maybe, maybe not. But the point is it's always safer to get permission. So commentary, clips and permission. So in my opinion, those are the three things every compilation channel should have, whether it's music, vines, uh, best soccer or American football, anything that has clips of other people's work, add those three elements and I think you'll be safe. Now I wanna hear from you. Tell me down there in the comments below whether you agree with my opinions, what you think channels should do to keep safe, and do you have any personal experiences to share so we can all learn from each other? Click that eye to see my playlist of the videos that I talk about keeping your channel safe. Everything we've learned through these several months of doing cleanup and unlinking many channels in our network, all of that is summarized in those KYC videos in the playlist up there. So guys, it is now almost midnight local time. I am in Dubai. I'm filming this on a Sunday. It's about to become Monday. And did you actually know that Friday and Saturday are the days off in Dubai? The entire uh, uh, Middle East region typically has Friday and Saturday as the two days off, not Saturday and Sunday. That means Sunday is a Monday here in this place. What am I doing here in Dubai? Well, click that eye to see the playlist of the Freedom Experience where I show you all the videos I created while here in this city. It's a city state, one of seven in the country, UAE, United Arab Emirates. I am here to build the Freedom Experience, which invites you to come. I'm trying to do something. I'm thinking faster. My fingers are moving faster than my mouth. <laughs> Dubai is a unique environment that gives everyone a zero tax place to live and work because that's the law here. The government makes money off of fixed fees, not a percentage of your income. So the goal, and I'm the guinea pig, is to show everyone that you can live and work in Dubai. It's a very safe and clean city. And you can make your videos here. You could buy your bananas here. You could send your kids to school here. All of the things that I'm doing, I'm encouraging you to contact us to join me here in Dubai, benefit from the zero tax environment. Let's have an adventure together. I'm trying to create a community of creators that live and work in the same area. There's a YouTube space here. It's 30 minutes away from anywhere you happen to live in Dubai. There's only 10 YouTube spaces in the entire world. And one of them is right here in a place called Studio City. So check that, check those videos out if you're interested to learn more. And if you'd like to take my offer and join us here in Dubai, then email support.freedom.tm your intentions explain why you're interested and we will get back to you for any serious inquiry. All right guys, who am I? I am your Papa George, your George Sun Pie and many other names you, the beautiful Freedom Family, has given me. I am the CEO and founder of Freedom <laughs> for Freedom and the Freedom.
family. And everyone who's watching my videos right now on the KYC 13 and 14 music channel suspensions. That's awesome. Thanks you. Thank you everyone. Now actually I don't know who it who is watching. Um, one idea I had was to just look at the comments beneath these videos. So I just refreshed the comments of the whole channel and there are none. <laughs> no one's leaving comments on these videos that are getting all these views. So I don't know if it's because they're still watching the video and they're going to comment later because this spike just, just happened like maybe 20 minutes ago. Uh, or someone is botting, view botting these two videos. That's possible. I hope not. Or they are just watching and they have nothing to comment. So we'll find out uh, later and I'll let you know what I discover maybe in a few days from now. Hope you guys had a great weekend. I hope you're looking forward to your Monday. And uh, tell me a little about how things are going. We never talk anymore. I don't read your comments anymore. I do want to. I'm just trying to find time because remember I recently moved to Dubai less than a month ago. Actually, it's been a month now. So I've been here a month now and I'm still adjusting to this lifestyle, adjusting to all the new routines. I have to learn where to go buy my bananas. And we're looking at different places to uh, move to permanently. Right now I'm just in a hotel apartment as a temporary residence. Uh, we're still exploring different apartments and locations in Dubai to live and work uh, permanently. So there's still a lot of time being spent adjusting and exploring the city. So I just haven't had time to do the type of videos where I do like segments, like reading your comments, doing the, uh, wait, what are we watching? Where I play one of your clips, uh, introducing the George Show, the collaborations we used to do. I'd love to start that again. Uh, if you remember the $100,000 sponsorship, <laughs> I'd love to start that again. And there's many things I'd love to do that we used to do and more new things as time permits. Love to hear from you. What do you think was the most exciting parts of the George Show or what do you think makes it the most exciting for you? Maybe something new. Tell me down there in the comments below. I do read every single comment and I'd love to hear from you. Till next time, Freedom Family. Ooh, that was another spike. <laughs> Keep safe. I am George, and you've been watching. Click that eye to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music. You also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty-free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.